this module, you will learn how Torus works with different continuous integration tools. As Torus is a command line tool, it can be easily integrated to all the CI tools. Uh, be sure that you have your Torus configuration script ready and tested without any runtime errors. Uh, by default, the uh, software configuration management application is uh, GitHub. You have to first install the GitHub plugin for Jenkins uh, to do the integration. You then can use the execute shell build step in the Jenkins project to run the Taurus test, just the way you would run your regular BZT command. Uh, the scripts will be pulled from GitHub and uh, Taurus will have to be installed beforehand uh, before you run the execution shell. You will then be able to see the results uh, and also will get a link to the blaze meter report from the bills uh, console output. You will also be able to run the Taurus test through a Jenkins pipeline. Uh, this is a sample of what the Taurus YAML script will then look like. As you can see, the script runs 10 concurrent users, has a hold time for five minutes and the ramp up is 60 seconds. And the thread group is running two requests. One is a get request to the blazedemo.com website, and the other is a post request to blazedemo.com reserve.php. You can also add pass fail criteria within the YAML script itself. And then you can go ahead and run the Taurus test using the BZT command. And you will also be able to view the Taurus result in the console there and then. Uh, Taurus also integrates uh, with Jenkins, and you will be able to run the Taurus test from the Jenkins UI. After opening Jenkins, you just need to create a pipeline script. If you look at the script, the script is basically adding an SH command within which the BZT command is then supplied, just like you would regularly run the BZT command for Taurus tests. Uh, Jenkins pipeline provides higher resilience and flexibility as well as parameterization abilities and uh, VCS friendliness. You can also go ahead and pull the YAML scripts from GitHub repository and run it using the same command that you used to run the Taurus locally. You can run the test in cloud and uh, to do that you can modify the location parameters within the YAML script. And as easily, you can also modify any other configurations like concurrency or ramp up. Jenkins can also run uh, each of these test cases automatically. You can configure how the test runs in the build section. Uh, if you see on the screen, for example, the test runs each time a change is pushed in the GitHub. Uh, for instance, whenever you change the concurrency, the test will automatically run again. And you should be able to then view the results of the test uh, within the Jenkins UI. And uh, once you've run the Jenkins uh, pipeline for your YAML test, you will also be able to view the reports within the Blaze Meter using the Blaze Meter link. Mm -hmm.